Who are you? Please. Please, Bill. Who Please are you? My name, my name is Priscilla Parker. A smart kid once has told me their real name. I, I, I'm a smart, I'm a smart kid, kid. Hey, is that your mom's dog? One of them. He's, that's Harvey. He's pretty cool. Hey, boy. Aren't you cute? What a good dog. Oh, Harvey, where are your manners? Meet Papa Parker, Mom, the one I've been telling you about. I'm so happy to finally meet you. I'm Marty Brannigan. What is she doing here? It's fun. I'd like you to meet Poppy Parker. You two have fun. Me and Trey are going to go outside for a little bit. Bye! Bye! Poppy! Get away from there. You can't trust him. He's unpredictable. Hey, Carol. Trey! Well, hello there, stranger. How have you been? Oh, can't complain. How about you? Mom tells me you're living on the South Hill now. Hang on. This might turn out to be something good. Were you looking for your mom? Because I didn't expect her until tomorrow. No, Mom's home. Poppy just talked me into visiting. Poppy? She's here? <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, Carol. I asked her if she needed to check or anything. No, no, no. It's not your fault. It's just that... Gunner's a, got a history of aggression. I can't trust him. That's why he's here and not with the other dogs. So this must be Gunner. Oh. Yes, this is Gunner, and you'll have to excuse my poor manners. Trey and Poppy, I'd like you to meet Dr. Julie Bouchard from Sand Creek Veterinary. Hi. Trey Brannigan, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Oh, please call me Julie. Ma'am makes me feel too old. I'm not coming out, and you're not touching him. He's a good dog. He didn't do anything wrong. You know, some days this job really sucks. Oh, it's fine. Maybe you can call me if you want to reschedule. You are not rescheduling. Okay, okay now. Let's all be calm now. The last thing we want is for Gunner to go for, to get worked up. I can why you're upset, but you're upsetting Gunner too, and I'm not sure what he might do if he feels threatened. You need to please come out now and give him a chance to calm down. I'm not coming out, unless you promise that you won't do anything to him. You know, the last animal I had Dr. Julie put down was a 15-year-old cat with a stomach cancer. I'd only known him for two days, and I still cry over so don't think I, I don't understand how you're feeling, okay? And I promise you, Poppy, if you come out, Gunner will be here tomorrow when you and Marty come, okay? You really promise? Scout's honor. Now hold up your end of the bargain and come out of there. Well, hello there, Poppy. Greg, this is more of my volunteer dog walk. Poppy, this is Officer Greg Kinsley. He's with the K-9 unit, and he's looking for a police dog. Oh, I remember you. You're Dozer's handler. Do I know you? Remember, I'm the girl who saw the shooter at the gas station. Aha, good memory. Anyway, Greg, I'll be glad to keep my eye out for you, but I thought the department was by from European readers. For patrol dogs, we do. The criteria isn't so rigid for narcotic but they need to be under three years old without a history of behavioral issues. You can use shelter dogs for police work? Sometimes. I'll give you a call if I find one that, fill, that fills the bill, that, that fits the bill. Narcotics? He's looking for a drug sniffing dog? Good enough, lady. Wait, I know a dog that might work. You do? What? Oh no, Poppy. He's young and super smart and really pretty. Yes, he is. He's also totally unsuitable for the position in question. I'm sensing a little dis... 
send me shin. What is that even saying? Sending, I'm sensing, I'm sensing a little defense in here. Poppy has taken a real liking to one of our dogs. He's handsome as all get out, but he's got a history. What sort of history? He complains, he bites, but he's really friendly to me. You just have to let him get up and warm up to you. He's not just a claim, Poppy. He bit a young boy. That's why he's here, remember? That's what the guy told you, but nobody knows the real story, remember? How old is he? Young, probably 18 months or so. Right, Carol? Does he know any of the basics? Say, say some? I'm not sure yet, but I can teach him whatever he needs to know. Do you want to see him? When did you say the program starts, Greg? Four weeks. That's hardly any time at all, Poppy. It's plenty of time. He'll learn fast. I know he will. I still say he's totally unsuitable, Greg, but Poppy will be happy. Gunner! No, it's okay. A little aggression can be a good thing. Plus, he's not m as so much aggressive as he is wary. He is? Sure. Look at his posture. A dog's body, body, a dog's body language speaks volume. He's more, I'm keeping a close eye on you rather than I want to tear you to pieces. See how he carries his, himself? He's beautiful, isn't he? Tell him... Tell you what? No promises, but you can teach. If you can teach him, sit, stay, and come. In the next three weeks, I'll come back and see how he handles me on a leash. Think you can do it? I know I can. Can I start working with Gunner now? <laughs> Seeing as how you have less than a month, I suggest you do. Hey, you want a much better job? Such as working with Gunner. Mom's gonna let you? Yeah, but it's even better than that. If I can teach him all the basics, he might be considered as a police dog. No way. Yeah, but can't work with him alone. I need somebody out there in case Gunner de decides to rip me to shreds. You can sit under the apple tree and play Angry Birds if you want. Okay. We're gonna do this. You and me, boy. You're gonna, you're gonna become a narcotics dog and help catch bad guys. You wanna do that, Gunner? Sit. Stay. Stay. Okay, let's just walk some more. idea. Thanks. Dream on, you're not getting... No hurry, take your time. Sure, Tiger. Take as long as you need. I'm sure. It's not him. That's it for now, guys. Appreciate all your hard work. Go home and get some rest. Come on. I'll take you to Mom's. Sorry. Hey, you did fine. You're yourself a Twinkie. Trey, you know those surveillance photos you showed me? What about them? Could I maybe look at them again? New ones or the ones I already showed you? Um, I didn't know there were new ones. There's new ones every day. Oh, yeah. What's going on, Poppy? Nothing. I've just been thinking more about this, and I think I might have seen that Frank guy after all. You might have, or you did. I don't know. That's why I want to look again. Don't 
Don't tell me you saw me, you didn't say anything. I don't know, I, it, I, uh, I was, I wasn't a hundred percent sure. I, I was scared. It's okay to be scared, Poppy, but this isn't a game. It's illegal to impede an investigation with, with holding information. Well, at least I know your grandma must be awake. Hey, you're up. Poppy. Good morning? Yes, indeed, you're right. What is Miss Austin doing here? Oh, I'm just checking. Hey, Tiger. Turn it off. I'm trying to sleep. That sounds like you're awake. I said I'm trying to sleep. That's about all you've done for the last 24 hours. It's time to get up. I don't want to. But it's supper time. You need to come eat. I'm not hungry. Why can't you just leave me alone, Trey? The service for your grandma is tomorrow. No, I'm not going to any service. Why is that? I don't want to see her bed. You don't have to see her if you don't want to. She'll be in a casket. I don't want to go, Trey. Nobody can make you go, Poppy. But I'm going to tell you something. If you don't go, it'll be one of those decisions you'll regret for the rest of your life. Why? Because it's your chance to say goodbye. That's all. I don't want to say goodbye. Okay, you get you give me a little more thought. But for now, you need to come eat something. Mom's really worried about you. I might throw up if I eat. Come on, come try. Trey? Yeah? Is she really gone? Afraid so, Tiny. Come on. Get you on tape on. Bring your pet. No pad if you'd like. Okay. Sorry to kept you lady waiting, ladies. Um, I assume you're Priscilla Marie Parker. Poppy. Oh. All right, Poppy. Your grandmother had a standard will giving you the right to anything of value, including her jewelry and personal effects, as well as a bank account containing sixteen thousand three hundred forty-two dollars. 16,000? Yes, but you won't have access to it right now. It'll remain in a trust fund until you turn 18. Of course, your grandmother was most concerned in the welfare in the event of her death. A few weeks ago, she wrote some instructions with the help of Miss Austin here. I'll excuse myself for a few minutes while you look it over. Well, you know what the letter says? I do. I was there when it was notarized. What do you think? I don't know. It's not nice. <laughs> but who will I live with? Try the best to be our legal guardian. That means we will be responsible for you. But I think you'd get to spend a lot of time with Marty, which is what your grandma is thinking of. Yay! <laughs> 